Congressman Ronnie Jackson from Texas. Well, I just want to say thank you for having me. Thank you guys for being here. Uh, you know, consider me and uh, many of my colleagues here there today allies in the fight uh, to, uh, to bring uh, freedom uh, to the people of Iran. Uh, I'll do everything I possibly can. I'm on the Foreign Affairs Committee. I'm on the Armed Services Committee. Uh, I wholeheartedly support the desire for a democratic and a non-nuclear Iran. Uh, I'll tell you that, uh, you know, uh, not to reiterate what everybody else has said, but uh, we, we have to, this is a problem that has to be solved. I'll be honest with you, a lot of the problems that we're having in the country or in the world right now would not be a problem if we did not have the regime uh, in Iran that we currently have. What's going on right now in Israel with Hamas would not be happening, you know. Uh, I've, I've, I've uh, talked to uh, lo lots of folks on the national security side of the house, and the, 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 unfortunately, you know, during the... Uh, uh, well, during the uh, Trump administration, the conversations that were going on within the regime in Iran was that they could not afford to support these, uh, these terror proxies that they're supporting right now. They did not have the money for it. The sanctions were working, right? Unfortunately, we're in a situation now where the, uh, the Biden administration has, uh, you know, given recently $6 billion, made it available to, uh, uh, to Iran. And, you know, the, they haven't been enforcing the sanctions on oil, which is another $40-plus billion that they've had access to. What that's resulted in now, the, now the conversations are that they are flush with money. They can support Hezbollah. They can support the Houthis. They can support Hamas. They can support all of these terror groups that are attacking U.S. troops as well in, in Syria and in Iraq. Uh, so we have to stop that. We have to cut off the money. We can no longer provide this support. I think, uh, you know, the fact that we're doing this, uh, you know, w uh, with the assumption that there's going to be some kind of a nuclear deal, uh, that, that ship has sailed. We need to be tough with Iran. We need to shut off all of the money. We need to enforce the sanctions. Uh, if we don't, we are going to find ourselves in a war in the Middle East, and uh, we cannot afford to do that. It's been mentioned that, you know, the fight is from within. Uh, that's where the, the regime change is going to come from. But that's not going to be very easy to do if we don't do our part on the outside and we don't make it difficult for this regime to exist. <laughs> So I'll just tell you, I haven't been, I haven't been uh, supporting you in this fashion as long as my, uh, 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 my colleague Mario, who's up here, has been doing this for 30 years. I've only been in Congress for three years, but I, I count myself as one of your staunchest supporters. I will continue to do everything I can to make sure that, uh, that, that you're proud of my, uh, my support uh, for your cause. So thank you for having me. I appreciate it. <laughs>